Hi, welcome back to another edition of To Read or Not To Read, Realistic Young Adult Fiction Edition. This first book I want to share with you is Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Bowie. This book takes place in the early 2000s. It's an Ojibwe coming of age thriller. Um, it looks at the main character, Donna Fontaine, who's just finished high school and she's excited for college. Um, and then tragedy strikes her community and she is sent to uh, investigate what happened and what's really going on within her community. It deals with some heavy topics such as murder, drug abuse, domestic violence, um, but the characters are so strong. It explores the modern native experience and celebrates community and tradition. Also, look at the cover. The cover is great. It's one of my favorite parts of the book. Next, we have Love Boat Taipei by Abigail Hing Wen. Uh, this coming of age story takes place in Taiwan. It's about Ever Wong, who is sent to a Taiwanese immersion program for the summer, which is really disguised as a love boat where she's supposed to meet like her future love. Um, throughout this experience, she discovers herself and her path in life outside of her parents' expectations. Uh, it's a fun and adventurous book filled with lively characters and pretty wild scenes. If I Tell You the Truth by Jasmine Kaur, is an undocumented immigration story of Kieran and her daughter Sahara. Uh, it explores the love between a mother and daughter and the hardships that they endure. Um, it uses prose, poetry, and illustration to tell the breathtaking story. Uh, this book also looks at trauma, courage, community, and healing, and it explores the differences between the two cultures that Kieran is coming from and going to. Lastly, we have A Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow by Laura Taylor Namey. Uh, this young adult romance is kind of a slow burn, but it's a cozy and really light read. Uh, this book will also make you very hungry as the main character, Lila Reyes, is a baker and spends a lot of the time uh, making these fantastic desserts and pastries and food that will just leave you wanting them. Uh, the main character, Lila, is sent to England after her grandmother's death and a bad breakup with her boyfriend to kind of find and rediscover herself and her passion. And she makes new friends and finds love along the way. Uh, that's all I have for you today. Uh, tune in next time. Thanks.